Hi, I'm Naomi, and this is Max. I guess he doesn't want to say his own tag. name. But, um, and we're here to unbox some Zany Laney stuff that we got this month. It's our first unboxing video, so hopefully um, it comes out okay. We're both really awkward, so we'll see. Sorry about it. It's fine. Um, so here's our box. It still has Tuttle in it. Here, you can hold Tuttle. Tuttle's our unofficial mascot for um, Zany Laney because they have moose on their signature stuff, so um, we also love moose, so there's that. All right, so we're gonna get started. Got a big old bag, got quite a bit of stuff in here. So, first up is Wayfinder. This is a scent that was made um, based on Kingdom Hearts, and I actually just got done playing um, Birth by Sleep, which is where they talk about wayfinders so that's pretty cool um, they got a little artwork there that's really cute um, and the scent notes in this one is cranberry peaches and a promise oh what so even the promises I don't know but this one's a little bit um, different than what I'm used to because I usually go I go fruit but I go sweet so we'll see how this smells right, ready? you gonna spray it in the air or like you spray that Spray in your face. Oh, don't do that. I'm gonna go blind. Can you smell it already? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of cranberry going on there. I like that. Ready? I'm gonna spray it on Tuttle. Okay. Get ready, close your, Tuttle. Close your eyes. <laughs> oh, that is a lot of cranberry. Mm-hmm. Wow, it hits you kind of hard. I like it. It almost reminds me. <laughs> Sorry, it like just hit me. It almost reminds me of Expendables, but it almost has a little bit of maybe Promise as like a clean linen, because doesn't it smell kind of like laundry? A little bit. It's a little bit like the laundry. So that tells me. But it definitely holds strong for a while. That it should go near the laundry, like it should go in the laundry room, or we could use it on like our laundry basket before we wash things so that okay. way it's not stinky. So I like that. We're going to use this for the laundry room. We needed something. We didn't have anything for it yet, so that's fine. <laughs> There's that one. Okay, now next is familiar. Okay, this one I think I'm really going to like. Strawberry Almond Lemongrass. Oh yeah, that sounds right up your alley. Yeah, and it's based on um, Crookshanks from Harry Potter. So there's the cool art there. <clears throat> it's an older scent, but um, Harry Potter scents are part of the highlight deals for July. So that's why I picked that one up. Um, so I wanted to see what the hubbub was about. This is actually a crowd favorite for the Harry Potter scents. Personally, Sherbet Lemon is my favorite. Is it supposed to remind people of something from Harry Potter? Like if you go to the theme parks and you go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, is this going to remind us of something there? Is that what the familiar part is? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. That is a question for Lainey. <laughs> or Marshall, maybe. <laughs> if you're watching. Like what inspires the scent notes in this one? Why, why does it make us think of, of, of Cat? Hmm. Do I get to smell it, or am I gonna get no, sprayed? No, you it? get to smell it. Oh, okay. It just it has, like the almond. The almond is it, very prominent. It, yeah, it hits, which is nice. But that's good. I do like that. Hmm. This one might just be straight up body spray for me. This one might go in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. It doesn't really put. I mean, sherbet lemon's still my top. Like, I, it's gonna be hard to beat that. There might be a scent today that's gonna beat that, but not this one. But it is definitely, I'm adding it to my collection of what I wanna smell like. Oh, this one contains cinnamon though, so I have to be careful and spray it on my clothes and not my skin. Oh yeah. I couldn't even tell. Let me see that again. Honestly, I still smell a wayfinder right now. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that one is sticking around quite a bit, but... Tuttle smells like a wayfinder. Hmm. I'm 
do you think? It's familiar. I can't figure out why. <laughs> uh, that's why he's here. <laughs> that's literally it. That's... He's the funny one. All right. Check out that art. Also, you can find some of these art prints on zanielaney.com if you're interested. I really kind of like the Wayfinder one. I might look into that. Nice little thank you card that I just found. She always puts... Oh, look, it's Waldo. It's Waldo. <laughs> um, hi. And then also, I bet this is because this is my favorite. <gasps> Yay! And a nice little note from Lainey. Yeah. I like that. That's nice. This is nice. I'm excited. This scent is in here. Can't wait to get to it. Put the cap back on this. Oh, I need to get rid of this mousse. It still smells. Why? You don't like Wayfinder now? No, it's just it's distracting from the upcoming scents. Oh, it's it, it's so weird that it's got so much clean linen. You guys have to tell me if the promise is clean linen. Definitely makes me think of laundry. So next is a wax melt, which I've never done before. So this will be my first time doing that. Um, it was uh, There was a um, typewriter wax melter that was kindly donated to me by um, Lainey, Corey, and Marshall. So thank you. I'm excited to use that. How do I open this? This way? This yeah, way. I think so. Okay, this is Silly Old Bear. This one's supposed to smell like honey. Milk mm -hmm. and honey. I like honey. Can, are you smelling it? Mm, or? Yes, no, I couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> that one's nice. Here. That is nice. I think it'll yeah. be nice when you put when you heat that up. Downstairs or upstairs? Upstairs. Yeah. This, this this relaxes me. This makes me feel like you're about to mellow out for the night. We should try it tonight then. <clears throat> okay. Let's put it in our new wax melter. Give it a go. Honey, milk, and honey. Mm-hmm. That's what mine. Like. Also bear. art, but I heard that this is not the actual art that's going to stay. So it's just here for a limited time. That's not going to work. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> if you want to see that picture again, just go back a couple seconds in the video, hit pause. Or go to zanielaney.com and look for Silly Old Bear. Even better. Yeah, and you can use my discount code, Naomi10, N-A-O-M-I-10, and get 10% off. Just for the art. <laughs> Yay! Oh, here we go. Out my window. So this one's tangled, expi expired. <laughs> tangled, expired. <laughs> Inspired. Um, and everybody knows that's my favorite. So I'm very excited about this one. This one might be the one that beats Sherbet Lemon because not only is it my favorite, um, based off my favorite princess, but um, it's also ingredients that I think I'm gonna love. So we have cookies, chocolate, and raspberries. Cookies, chocolate, and raspberries. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like a whole Already. pastry shop I don't in even, there. I feel, like, I feel like this one needs to be sprayed. It deserves right, yeah, let's, spray. let's just do it. Let's just put it out there and see what we get. <laughs> I'm put on my safety goggles first. Ooh. It's like walking into a Ghirardelli. Mm. Well, that is pleasant. That's very pleasant. Or like walking into the M and M shop, like wherever there's chocolate. Basically, you walk into a chocolate shop, you got this. That's great. Yeah, but it hits you like a little bit of a fruity flavor first, so yeah. you don't get like the chocolate. You get like the ooh, like the Girl Scout um, candy bars that have like the raspberry filling in them. Kind of, kind it of like smells that. Smells like that taste. It's not beating sherbet lemon, but I really like it. Yeah, that's mm. good. That's a living room scent right there. That's like a spray on your couch and make it linger smell. It's a stuck on my arm scent now. But and I like people it. People are going to walk in and be like, did we just walk into a chocolate factory? Do I call me Willy Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> Why is that sad? Because uh, Violet just passed away. The love actress who played Violet, Violet. Beauregard. It's alright, you know what, this is still a really good scent and I think people will like this. Yes. 
to Violet Beauregard, and also Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> Also art that's available, this is one of their existing characters that is cosplayed as Rapunzel. Um, I'm still a little new, so I'm not familiar with her name. I think it's like... Uh, Jelly? I think it's Jelly. I think Jelly's her name. So yeah. <coughs> can stare at that for a little while. Next! We still got Next. one to go. It's very Next. impressive. Oh, I got this one for you. You, got you this ready? One for me? Yes. Oh no. Because it is um, maple syrup, butter, and waffle powder. So breakfast, which is my favorite meal of the day. Mm -hmm. You love maple. You love maple everything. I, that's true. I do. Every time we go to New Hampshire, we get like yeah. tons of maple candy that Tuttle I don't finish. Also likes maple. Tuttle came from that place that had all the maple stuff. All right, let me bring him back for this one. Yeah. <clears throat> Time for a new scent for the moose. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? I think you should do the honors. Oh, also I should add that this is based off Stranger Things. It's called Eleven. And of course, she loves her egos. So you could see where the scent notes got their inspiration from. Look over her egos. Uh-huh. Oh, is Tuttle doing the spray? Yeah, Tuttle's going to smell it first. But I'll cover his eyes so you don't get in his eyes. He almost has it. <laughs> We're ridiculous. I'm just going to do this. Took a while to hit, but wow. Yep, that is breakfast. Oh my god, I just walked in the Cracker Barrel. It's like a... It, yeah, it's kind of like a Cracker Barrel, but it's also like... It reminds me of a restaurant somewhere. I know where we're going to dinner. Are we going to Cracker Barrel? No, Waffle House. <laughs> okay, we're getting breakfast for dinner, I guess. That's... The cheap man's Cracker Barrell. <laughs> Let me see this. Wow. And like the butter scent. The butter, that that's is what's, what's coming up. through. And I really didn't think that that was going to be the prominent one, but I like that. Oh, watch your face. Yeah, it's like fresh waffles. Mmm. If anybody like walks a... in the house right now, they'd be like, what is happening with the sets? <laughs> it's like the first time ever you use a waffle maker. <laughs> I like this. This is good. Yeah, max scent for the win. You know what? You could use it in your car. I could use this you in my car. smell it in the car But then I'm going to get time. really hungry all the time. And you would love it. You would That's wake true. up in the morning and be like, oh my god, waffles. If you're looking to inspire okay. your breakfast, 11. <laughs> Who said 11 is too Max. late? Yeah. <laughs> Who said 11 is too late for breakfast? I don't want to block you. There you go. Check out that art. All right. Doing good so far. I like a lot of these. If I had to rank from favorite to least, well, not, well, I guess least favorite. They're all good. Um, I think I would go 11 out my window. Mm, it's hard. And then I guess familiar than Wayfinder? Okay. Or maybe Wayfinder familiar. They're kind of tied for me. I don't know, the laundry one... You're not eh. feeling it too much? No, I mean, like, it's good for that. Poor Tuttle. <laughs> but that is, uh... Not one of my favorite things, laundry. It's like Expendable, where we put it as, like, a bathroom freshener, because it makes us think of, like, fresh, clean things, but There's isn't necessarily something to do a lot with. Oh, it's our neighbor! Hi, neighbor. Hi. What a Why smell. I forget her name already. Evelyn. Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn, <laughs> if you're watching. And your husky. That's okay. You can use our backyard if you're husky. Yeah, go for it. We like huskies. All right. So next up is a signature scent. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This is Lainey's actual scent. And I have a feeling her and I have a lot in common when it comes to scents. Because when I just watched their new video for July, she says she does Fruity Bakery. And I also love Fruity Bakery. Sherbet lemon is lemon cake. You can't, you can't beat it. You just can't. I'm sorry, Lainey, you just haven't beat it yet, but let's see. This is lemon, black tea, and blackberry. I think we're going to get like a lot of relaxation out of this one. Because if it's going to make us think of tea. It also okay. has like the citrus, which is supposed to like naturally release those happiness hormones. Well, we'll see. Or whatever. 
releases into our brain? What is it, endorphins? I don't know. I'm no scientist. Minichlorians. I don't know. It's minichlorians. Hmm. Okay, right now it seems like an Arnold Palmer, which is awesome. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to smell this because yeah, there's, still, there's so still so much going so much... on. Still got breakfast in one nostril <laughs> and laundry in the other. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. Very fresh. Very Arnold Palmer. This is a kitchen scent, 100%. Get it again? I'm also getting, like, lemon head. It makes me thirsty. <laughs> If you have a lot of wood furnishing in your home, this is a great scent for whatever room that is because it's not lemon pledge, but it's got that freshness. So the bedroom where we have a lot of wood furniture. Sure. Your rocking chair. You want your rocking yeah. chair to smell like... I would take this to Z like a, a ski lodge almost or like a winter lodge because it'd be a great way to blend in freshness and that dark feeling. That's why there's, I guess, blackberry and black tea because it's got like that... I think that's what I thought of dark wood. It's rustic. It's a rustic spray. <laughs> Got something old you want to freshen up? This will do it. I like it. A little picture of a little moose healed in a coffee mug. That might be another one that's good for the garbage disposal, like Carrie's vision. We like use the these in our mug. garbage disposal because garbage disposals can really stink. Is that gonna block you? No. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> we still have more. We've got two more. Two more? Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. And we have hopefully three minutes because we try to keep these under 20. I don't even know if we have editing software, so all of this might be unedited. Who knows? So you're getting us in the raw. How do I get this on? Oh, I hate sugar in the raw. <gasps> I love sugar in the raw. Okay, I guess that's I just how don't this get it. It doesn't dissolve in I... anything. It just sits there. I'll figure this out later. <laughs> This is Lucille. This is the other scent that I got from you because, for you because you like the smoky scents. Mm. And this is what Lainey says the closest thing to smoky that they have. So it's leather, fire, and rain. There's actually fire in there? Yeah. It's going to burn. Oh. We shouldn't put it on our skin. Put it on <laughs> actually, first. we can put it on our skin. Um, but I'm thinking this will be a good car scent for you, too. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it does have that burningness to All it. All right, let me see it. So, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna spray it. Okay, there's definitely a fire. Definitely in there. leather too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's manly. Mm. It is. This is a. This is. This could be a cologne. Mm -hmm. Not quite honestly. That is nice for you men out there who are afraid to get these pretty little purple bottles. That's what's up. That is very nice. Wow. If you wore that every day, I would not be mad. <laughs> that smells nice. It starts to remind me a little bit of like some of those shops in the mall. Not the... Like the leather stores. Yeah, the ones that have a lot of leather stuff like in them, like leather products in them, yeah. <laughs> it does. But it does have that little bit of burny that makes it just right. Like it's not. Yeah. Because the leather can really give you a headache where you're like, oh, I just want to leave. This but is well balanced. Because it's like on fire. <laughs> yeah, usually those places nice. give me a headache, but this isn't. This feels just like it's got the right amount of just calmness to it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Lucille. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, no, I did not. No, so this is from The Walking Dead. This is what's oh. his face with the bat. I guess was obsessed with some lady. I don't know. I stopped watching after like season three, um, but this is this is after something about that. So I guess it's supposed to smell like that dude, like that villain that was in one of the more later seasons with with, with the bat with the nails. I'm sure you saw like photos and stuff. I've never seen an episode of The Walking Dead. Lies. We used to watch it at Caleb's house. I don't recall a single one. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't in it anyway. This was this was. This was after times. There's that. And one more. And this one's also a wax melt for us rookies. Ooh, ah, this Cute is one of the one. better ones that, um, not better. I don't mean, I don't know, but I'm, wow. what I meant was like, yeah. this is one of the ones that makes me think of me because I was obsessed with this movie when I was a kid. And if I recall, so are you, were yes. you. 
So um, this one's based off the Lion King. Simba's it's called Look Deeper, and it's lemon lime and corn pudding. And I love lemon, and I love stuff that smells like food. So <laughs> this <laughs> this is gonna be good. This has got to be good. All right, ready? This one we'll probably want want to do downstairs. I won't be upstairs. This will be downstairs. Probably. Another when you open it, it should go, no, it's wax a melter. You know how many times I try to say Max Welter? Uh, how many times? A lot. It's hard to smell this because there's so many scents in here. I'm getting a lot of the corn pudding out of it. That's good. We might have to wait to burn this one because I'm really not picking up on it. Yeah, it's very faint. Mm -hmm. So that one might be like one of those where you have to wait till it burns to really get the scent notes from it. Well, that's exciting. It'll be a surprise. But I can kind of get a little bit out of it, and it definitely feels like it's definitely a, like a welcoming type of thing. You would definitely use this somewhere where <clears throat> you have visitors coming into your home because it's a it's a very neutral scent in a sense that it doesn't gravitate towards one group or the other. I don't think anyone could dispute. Just comforting. Yeah, it's a comfort smell. Okay. Plus, look at how adorable that little lion is there. Yeah, that's Waldo dressed up as a lion. He's cosplaying as Simba. The, with the feather things, or the leaves. Yeah. When he's a baby and he doesn't have a mane yet. That. Okay. So I actually do have another little thingy in here. It looks oh. like I got to, oh, it's so pretty. I get to test out the um, spray all day item where you get to like hook this to your belt loop or hook it to your bag. And she gave me such a pretty one. It's sparkly and purple and plaid and I love it. I feel like she knows me already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, or you can clip it anywhere that it makes sense in the hallway or wherever we're gonna use it. Just hook it to wherever we think is the most common place um so we're gonna be using it maybe in the bathroom or something super cool let me just you're gonna bring that with you places or we can hang it in the car but you're gonna bring it with you places we can hang it in the car though it's your lucille scent for the car look how cute it is and it's real snug you don't have to worry about it falling out or anything and it comes out just fine i like that it's snug because if i hang it on my bag i throw my bag around like crazy i don't want it to fly out so very cool. Thanks for this addition. I don't know if this was supposed to happen as far as like, I mean, I don't, uh, I'm new to being a rep. So, I mean, if this usually comes with the boxes, that's awesome. Um, I thank know, you. Yes. Thank you so much. I know that it's, um, it's still in the works for its design. So, but I really like this one. So I'm going to use it. And that's it. We that's unboxed it. it. All right. We yep. got all of it. Yeah. That was great. Everything was really good. I'm still smelling waffles. There wasn't anything that I was like, oh, you know what? Why did I get this? Because it doesn't fit me at all. I really, really enjoyed all of them. I think you're right as far as like the one that we might not use as often would be Wayfinder because it's got a very potent, it's very potent. It's still hanging around like I can still smell yeah, it. That and waffles. On top of everything else. But um, I'd have to say that that one's probably my favorite though. I like the Lucille. I think the Lucille and the, yeah, yeah the Lucille 11 the is pretty great too. Yeah, 11, I, it's very sweet and it makes me want to eat things and usually scents that make me want to eat things are my fave, so. But since we've never done wax melts before, I'm still really looking forward to those two and seeing what they do when they're warmed up and when they start to Yeah, I was actually going to do around. probably a little promo video on Instagram or something for our first okay. wax melt. Cool. Sounds like a plan. All right, well, we're gonna go. Um, and this is probably how the couch talks are gonna go now. Once a month, you're gonna see a nice unboxing promo video for some zany laney stuff, as long as I'm a rep. So as long as you see me repping the product, you'll see one of these videos. And that's that's it. You got anything else to say? Nope, that's we're it. awkward. Okay, bye.